let's turn our attention here. We do, we do have some really good topics coming up. So I don't want to keep harping on what's going on with BTC and the cycles right now, but you know, the, we did name the stream like, are the cycles now invalidated? So this really did feel like an, a reactionary thing to say. However, if you consider the source, it's it was hard to to take it not seriously. But uh, I don't know if you know who Kobe is, Ewok. Mm -hmm. But uh, Kobe, yeah, I know. Been around, yeah, so he's been around for years on Twitter, obviously, and within crypto and everything like that. And he literally um, was talking about the idea of like, you know, I, maybe we have it wrong with crypto cycles and stuff like that. We should be more focused on like risk on versus risk off environments and forget the idea of a four year cycle and all these different things. And it was thoughtful, um, and I think it was being serious, but it also seemed kind of reactionary on a really, really bad day, which I think the best of investors and traders are capable of doing, you know. Um, but do you, you know, do, I will just ask directly, I mean, do you think this little event, does it shake your confidence in the four-year cycles? Or at the very least, maybe we shouldn't look at them with such a concrete lens. I mean, we have them, it's such a... Uh, you know, if you're within crypto and know anything, it's kind of like just a, a, a it's common knowledge, you know, the four year cycle, like everybody knows what they are. And we, it's pretty much gospel at this point, but if they aren't invalidated, um, what could, you know, this sudden black swan tank that we just had mean for the future time frame of this cycle anyway, and how could things possibly change? So I guess, first off, do you think cycles have been invalidated? Could they be someday? And um, do you think maybe Kobe's just kind of overreacting here, though? I think Kobe's overreacting. Um, I think he's probably being emotional. You know, remember, trading's not supposed to be emotional. You're supposed to remove emotions from a lot of this stuff. People find it hard to do that. Um, they're also probably looking for views, man. The markets are down. It's bad. People, do, you know, I, I, I don't think... Um, that people wouldn't do just about anything for, for likes and views and, and interaction. So I don't think the markets are invalidated at all. Um, could they be eventually? Well, it's possible, you know, we have to remember why the markets, the four year cycle exists in the first place. So we'll kind of dig down into that. It's all because of the Bitcoin having, right? It's the supply shock. It's the change in, how much supply is hitting the market? How does that affect people? Uh, people know it's coming. So therefore, that whole cycle is revolving around that. Um, that could eventually change, right? When we get another couple halvings, um, I think it becomes less of a supply shock when you go from what? When you go from, I think we're at, three now we went from six and a quarter to three and an eighth or something like that per block um you know in a couple more you're going to be at one and a half and then you're going to be at 0.75 well what the difference between 0.75 an hour and point point three five um or three eight whatever it is an hour or you know per block what's the difference really so i think as time goes on that um Four year cycle could just kind of get out of whack. Plus, the markets tend to become efficient over time, right? I think somebody that I know said that. I think you're muted. So, um, but as a great um, man once said, yeah. yeah, a great man once said that. Um, so, I, I think eventually, yes, that we could kind of get away from that. You know, you get institutional people buying up Bitcoin now, and hopefully they'll be buying up Ethereum soon. Where's it at? I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of OTC stuff happening um, because we're not privy to it. There's no price. I think they're really loading up OTC is, is what's going on. So, yes, eventually I think the four-year cycle could kind of go by the wayside. You're still going to have um, ebbs and flows. It's just not going to be as easy to call. Um, and who knows, this may be the start of that. You know, we've got a lot of people saying this one could be extended a little bit into 2026. It's going to, we're going to have to wait to see how long that actually takes before we have the data to say, well, no, nope, it's still the same guys. And, you know, everybody's emotions are just out of whack. That's all it is. People right. People tend, tend to do weird things. They think it's different when it's really not different. It, it, it you know, it may have a different rhythm, but it's still got the same rhyme, you know? So, yeah, 
Uh, no, so I don't think. So what was your next question? Um, well, uh, well, basically, like, if that's not the case, how could this kind of – it is kind of a Black Swan event. I mean, I think Black Swan gets maybe overused, but, I mean, this was – out of nowhere. And like you said, I mean, you even compared it to the COVID dip. So, well, that was a black swan too, right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, and actually, because we were going to talk about that to lead off the show and we kind of forgot, um, why don't you compare the feeling of this to that COVID one? Now, obviously, the COVID one came with a whole bunch of other crap uh, <laughs> that we dealt with for a while. But talk about what that felt like, the quick turnaround, like you talked about, but it was still absolute shock, panic in the market. Um, but compare the two. And then what I was saying is like, could this event still change this cycle's time frame? Like, cause I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe it pushes us deeper into 2025. Maybe it flips the calendar into 2026, which wouldn't really be that absolutely crazy or anything. But, uh, I really would like to get your thoughts on like comparing this to the COVID dip of 2020 though. Well, so I think the big difference was, um, and DJ Moonboy wants me to shave my beard off so that everything rockets by the way, but um, I, I think the big difference was we were at a, a different point, right? Um, especially with Hex, because that's kind of <clears throat> what was in the process of launching, right? When when that happened, we were mm -hmm. developing such a close core, tight knit community. At that point, everybody was home, everybody was online. We were all making friends in in, in our streams and. Um, getting to know each other and the community was growing and bonding. And it was um, not only that, but once COVID happened, they started printing money, uh, uh, sending everybody checks. Well, everybody mm -hmm. used those checks to buy crypto. Um, I think that's really what happened. And they had the extra cash flow to do that. Now, if that were to happen now and they say, well, I guess we need a bunch of votes. Here's a bunch of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I, I think everybody would do the same thing. I, I, I really think the effect would be the same, but, you know, I, I don't think we're going to get the money printing quite yet only because is that a bird that I hear? Yeah, it is. I didn't think that was that. Well, I have windows okay. open. So, okay. yeah, no I worries. No worries. That Go ahead. Like, I'll mute. Um, you no, you're fine. Um, but so, where was it? Oh, yeah. I, I just I don't think we're going to get the money printing. I don't think we're going to get that part of it. And we are essentially, you know, we're on our own at this point. We've got to rally the troops. And I think you need more people pushing this. And, and people are so bored right now that I think they're afraid to tell their friends or tell their neighbors. Um, and, and that's where we were with Hex is we were excited. We were excited to tell people we were still onboarding and it was crazy. Um, and I think that's why Bitcoin dumped and Hex went crazy because we were still at it, man. We were building a community. We were so excited about this new thing. And um, I, I think that's why we had a different outcome than, than what we may have now. And like I said, time is just, it's not on our side. Well, I mean, it is on our side. We're, we're on the right side of it. Um, it's just a matter of waiting. So you're muted. Goddamn bird. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, that, that's the whole thing. Like you have to make time your friend. Like time can be on your side if you make it on your side. It's kind of that whole thing I was talking about earlier. I mean, if you're yeah. going to try to force it and everything, it's not going to work for you, you know, compared to just working with it. So, um, but that that is good insight to know that. I mean, like, yeah, we could come up out of this like real quick. It was such a violent move down. People forget because basically yeah. it hasn't done it for four goddamn years. But uh, crypto can also go the opposite way and the up way, up direction. Yep. So, you know, you just have to wait for that to happen. And uh, yeah, DCA and live your life, basically. So, 